I woke up this morning and noticed that I've been living in Alaska since 2002 and I have never done a halibut charter fishing or I've never halibut fish in Alaska. I booked a charter in Seward, Alaska. It was $400 for one person. It's a full day charter for halibut and rock fish. The charter starts tomorrow at 6 a.m. So I've been doing a lot of touring in sewer today. Check out my other video of that. This video will just be about the halibut experience. It's roughly about 10 p.m. Um, this is the lower point of sewer. The waterfall is right there. That um, The waterfall you guys all know in the Sea World Sea Life Center is right there. And this is just like a random parking spot. A lot of RVs parks here. This is free. I don't want to pay for a campground. It's all packed anyway. So I'm doing very, very basic. Parking here for the night sleeping in my car, waking up at 5 a.m. and let's go hop on this charter boat and catch some halibut. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. about 3 30 a.m. right now uh, I usually wake up pretty early usually uh, I live on three four hours of sleep sunrise comes up in a, an hour or so right behind that mountain I'm just gonna get changed up um, put on some pants get some warm clothes on and then um, around 5 30 ish start heading to the charter place and we're stuck we're gonna get everything set up and get ready to roll for the most part it's nice and chilly it's a nice chilly morning it's the morning of our halibut charter trip here in Seward Alaska they have two uh, main parking lot they have the south parking lot which is the one that we're on and then they have the north parking lot which is about maybe two three blocks down here on the left hand side uh, daily parking is ten dollars so it's definitely worth it there's some other places that have like parking but it's like ten dollars for six hours or something like that and then a lot of these side parking lots here are only 30 minutes parking lot for stop and goes it's only 5 a.m. right now so um, we don't check in till six o'clock and then 6 15 6 o'clock we check in and I think 6 15 or 6 30 we take out of here so I booked my charter trip with uh, the company called the fish house they also have a store right here so they have like fishing equipment fishing supplies and everything and again guys it's 5 a.m. so it's nice and quiet right now everybody's still asleep but later on the day it's gonna get really really busy and you can see a lot of the other charters there's Aurora Charter. And there are some other charters. There's lots of charter guys. There's charter that does fishing. There's charter that does sightseeing. So it really depends on what you want to check out. And this right here is the fish house. And like I said earlier guys, I've never done any halibut fishing or any halibut charter in Alaska. So this is my first time. Pretty stoked about it. Pretty excited about it. I've always been wanting to do this trip, but just never really got the chance to just book it. And this is the day where we're gonna be doing it. I'll show you guys the dock over here, show you guys what it looks like. So this is the port. This is where people have their boats, ships parked and stored. We're probably gonna get onto a boat that's gonna be around this size, something like this right here, I'm assuming. And uh, most of these boats are all fishing boats. There's some bigger ones and usually those are the ones that's the tour boats. More of the luxury looking one. 
But for the most part, these are all the fishing boats here out in Seward, Alaska. Some of these are personal and some of these are commercial in use. Really nice. Good time to take some photos though. So. Right on top of the port, we have the cleaning fish tables. They have pressurized water. And then they have the hanger right here where you can hang your fish for photo op. And then look at here. This is where all the fish guts get dumped into. You can see that? That's where all the guts goes into. It smells like fish. Time is 6.42 a.m. and we are now departing the port of Seward. Captain Jimmy said it's gonna be a roughly about a three hour ride out until we get to our destination. Um, he also said that last, he also said yesterday it was pretty bad. They came back with only three halibut, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go. There's at least, there's like at least uh, 10 or 12 people on this boat that are fishing, so. Hopefully the fishing is good today. We'll see, we'll see. Really nice out here. We got the front view seat right now. Gorgeous. First time halibut fishing. We're three hours out on the three hours out of the sewer. Strike. Those guys. Yeah. Oh, that's right, they're the professionals. They got not a gauge, huh? Alright guys, we got our first fish, hopefully. Maybe a rock fish. Captain, Captain Jim, what's the uh, limit on the rock fish? Four. Four? Damn. These are some tough... These are some, these are some tough reels, holy <laughs> Wow, first rockfish. Look at that. <coughs> yeah, I'll do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, let's hold you right over the side. What color tag are you? Uh, blue. Oh. Yeah. All right, let's get these rockfish. Get a couple different times. Oh, really? So if it's a different for the black. So if it's a different kind, then it's, you get more than four. Or, or no, we so good. All right, did you get one? No. Oh. Switching out, yeah. <coughs> Fish on the boat, though. Let's, let's get that halibut. Let's get some halibut. It's so unsteady. It's so unsteady. Don't pull too hard. Keep it on there. You don't want to pull the hook out of the mouth. Okay, either. gotcha. So yeah. Just like slow like that. When come, yeah, when you get to the water, try and keep the weight in there. Can you pull up on it too hard? Correct. <coughs> oh. 
this one's fighting more than a rockfish. Oh. All right. That's oh, a nice, nice dark one. Two so far, huh? Two within uh, 30, 40 minutes. <coughs> Way less of a hook set. Okay. Way less. You were uh, blue? Blue, yeah. Yeah, my last one had a good fight. Yeah, I think we got a couple good ones. Sweet. Oh, that's... Nice. <laughs> nice coil back. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Number four coil back. That thing looks beautiful. Yeah, it's got a halibut, Adrian. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Look at that. All right, they're coming in, man. They're coming in. All right guys, so I got my limit of the rockfish. The rockfish limit is four. <coughs> and now I just have to get my halibut. <coughs> and only two people on the boat has got their halibut. So we moved to a different location right now. We moved to a new location. Here's all the uh, fish. A lot of folks got their rockfish. And uh, one person got a small halibut and then another gentleman here has a big one. This is like a 60 pounder. So this is the second location the captain has taken us to and uh, we're gonna try to get some halibut here beautiful beautiful lots of boats out here too first halibut drilling in the first halibut we'll see what it is Pretty small one yep halibut's halibut <laughs> I see it. Shall I leave it right here? Oh yeah, leave it right here. Hold it head in the water. It's a little one, you wanna take him? Right, it's not your little little, it'd be it'd be your over. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Got my <laughs> bad, bad. Uh, hey, it, it owed him twenty dollars. I got this. He was in the right. That's yeah, nice. I think I saw him coming up over there. What um, yeah, Somewhere about ten. Kind of far away. Uh, yeah. Good. Pretty good distance. Okay. If you just kind of. Just stand horizon. Yeah, stand. <coughs> they have binoculars. Like towards that boat or whatever that is over yeah, there. Yeah, like right when you enter on the right hand side. Oh, okay. They're hanging on the back there. I'm sure that's what they use. I'm so busy catching fish. Yeah. I got three of them holes like you would do. Alright. Okay. That might be over. <coughs> We are halibut fishing on the Gulf of Alaska. Herring. We're filming. Lord, help me. Woo! Boot camp not working. Our stock is more winding. That's the motto of the ship here. All right, we got a halibut on the line here. Yeah, it's Loaded. the harvest that keeps going in. Okay. <coughs> He's pulling it back. Pull down. Here comes the fish on. Nice fish. We're going to gap it on the side. Oh, it's a nice size. Oh, my God. Okay, tell her to slow down. Stop winding. Okay. Stop winding. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gap the line and get, get your shot. Hold <coughs> on. Okay. Okay. Barely hooked, barely hooked. 
in the boat. Woo! Woo! Nice, <laughs> nice work. Now you gotta hit up the baseball. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I was like. All right, this gentleman has a fish on the line. Let's take a look. <laughs> <coughs> Jim has a fish on over here. Take your time, man. Enjoy it. <laughs> you got a halibut on the line right here. <coughs> Fish on. You got a big one, huh? Yeah. You don't want to pull too much. No, no, just, no, no, just no. really slow. Slow. Take your time. Take your time. No rush. Yep. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Take his time. Enjoy. You know. Enjoy. Enjoy playing with it. <laughs> I think it's a big one. <coughs> uh oh. Take a step to your right and then go on your left here. This way. Oh, nice. Up here. It's a nice size. Nice fish. Okay. Oh. Lift it up. Lift up. Keep lift. Ready? Go. <laughs> Look at that. Let's go. Nice fish. Good job. Uh, still alive. <coughs> <laughs> Put the rod and rod over. Okay. Alright, this All right, gentleman has a fish on. on. Whoa, that's a nice Hold size. Look at that. Get up. Gee, that's a nice size. Good one. Oh, that's kind of a big one. It's a tracking baby. Yeah, in the water it looks smaller. The captain is measuring it. The limit is uh. Got a nice. Yeah, nice. 
So the limit is under uh, the limit is two halibut, one under 26 inch, and then one over 26 inch. So we're gonna try it. He wants one big. Too big. One more time. Please, please. <laughs> okay. oh, he's trying, he's trying. No, oh, what's the Take what your time. Okay, get up there with him, guys. That rod is going forward. Clear the rod above it. You got one too. <laughs> <coughs> two fish on the line. I'm gonna reel up on yours. Reel it up. <laughs> Nice and easy. <coughs> Big line. All right, this one. I think this one. Nope. Two yeah. lines. <laughs> nope. Let's clear it. <coughs> Reel it in. I just... Keep winding. Let's make at least drop <coughs> that in the water so it doesn't break out my window. Please. Two lines at it. Oh, uh, too big. That's a nice size, huh? It's gonna be really close, but I have a funny feeling it's gonna be 28 inches. Small is really small. Yep. <coughs> 49. Oh, too no, big. that's the mark. <laughs> too big. Too big. <clears throat> hey, don't drop that in the water yet. Okay. Fish over on the <coughs> Robert, let me know when you got color. Okay. Color. Okay. Right there. Okay. Slow, 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 slow. Okay. All right. Coming up, coming up. Whoa. Whoa, that's a nice one. Ready? One, two, three. <coughs> oh, smoke. Oh, smoke. <laughs> baseball bat, baseball bat. <laughs> Look at that. You just got a nickname. Oh, you just got a nickname. <laughs> Fall down. Nice. <coughs> so 
all these are the fish and there's roughly about 12 of us. I didn't get to finish the vlog in the sewer. Uh, we got so busy cleaning up and making the trip back home. The trip back home was about five hours because of some traffic. But let's talk about what I got today. I was able to get two halibut. The limit is two halibut. <laughs> one must be 26 inch or smaller. And then the second one can be whatever size you want. So this one here is my big one, they call it. It's over 26 inches. <laughs> And then this one over here is my small one. And this one came out to about maybe 21 inches or so. So this one isn't as big as I expected it. I was really trying to get a big one. But once you catch your big one. And if you are to catch another big one. You can't keep it. You have to release it. <coughs> I met another gent gentleman. One of the gentlemen on the ship that was uh, um, also fishing. He was one of the first person to get a very big halibut and um, he's from out of state so he doesn't want the head so it's always nice to get the head because the head still has a lot of meat so we love the head so we always keep the head because the head has a lot of meat and a lot of belly meat so he was kind enough to give me his head because I told him about it I was like, I was like man if you don't want your head dude can I take it he's like yeah sure so he was kind enough to give me the head <laughs> and uh, this one's gonna be good for a broth and stuff like that and then besides that <coughs> um, the other stuff we were fishing for is the rockfish and the limit for the rockfish is four fish so I got my four fish so I basically limited out um, I got my four fish and they did everything for you they filleted it for you already I feel kind of, I wish I would, should have told them not to flay it so I could have had the fish whole because if you keep the fish whole, you can actually eat the whole thing, you know. There's a lot of meat and um, usually when you flay it, you waste a lot of meat, just like for example this right here. So this piece here, they would have thrown this into the ocean if he would have told them that he didn't want the head. So this is the rockfish and uh, four of those. And I was the only person to really limit on there. I was the only person to get four rockfish and two of my halibut. Everybody kind of got, everybody got mostly four rockfish or three rockfish. And then they all got their big halibut, but they weren't able to get their small halibut because it's really hard to find the, it's really hard to get a small one. <laughs> so after a while, the captain's like, yep, everybody got their big one. Let's head out because we're not going to get the small one. So 
we got there around 12 fish for two hours and then uh we trekked back and then just getting to the spot that we were fishing at it's about almost two and a half hours just to get there from the sea uh, from sewer from sewer port so from the from the nose so he's right here is 22 inches about 20 23 yeah 23 and a half inches so that's that's it for the trip guys hope you guys enjoy i didn't really get too much footage of us actually fishing because it's so like time is just so short that i just don't have time to film i think my gopro was running at some of those time but for the most part hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys next time and i'll definitely be doing another hollywood charter next time peace out